Okay, Peter here at 2016 in a drone, and I'm here with Chris Thomas from MultiGP. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Having a great time. Cool, wonderful, wonderful. So I was looking at your last year's flyer here, and one thing that caught my eye there was you said over 10 chapters <laughs> yeah. nationwide. So what is the number now? Uh, we're over 400 active chapters with MultiGP. Oh my worldwide. God. Worldwide. Worldwide. Oh my God, so 400 active chapters worldwide built over a year. Right. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Okay, that is pretty amazing, actually. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for the dedication to the sport. So yeah. if somebody wants to get, you know, let's say I have a copter, I got, I got it flying pretty well, and I want to participate or join the league, what is the next step that I need to do? Well, the easiest thing to do is if you go to multigp.com, mm -hmm. create a profile, mm -hmm. and then search for the local clubs in your area. Mm -hmm. Chances are there is one. Mm -hmm. If there's not, uh, I would recommend that you find a few guys and start one yourself. We provide you all the support and tools that you need to run races for free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tools and support, what is it there? I know there is an app, there is a website. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about it? Yeah, so MultiGP really formed when I was trying to run races and I, I stumbled a, uh, across a lot of problems in managing the people and managing all the technology. Mm -hmm. So what the website does is if you're an organizer, it lets you say, I'm having a race. Mm -hmm. And a pilot says, I want to go to the race. Mm -hmm. When they get to the race, they say, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And it tells them exactly what to do. So it instructs how to configure their aircraft, it tells the race organizer that everyone's ready. He hits a button and it generates a schedule telling everybody when to race. Mm -hmm. When the first race starts, a message goes out to all those pilots saying, hey, it's your turn to get up here and race. And with a local club, once guys get used to this process, you're, you're out there and you're having fun. You're not spending all the time trying to organize everybody or fill out forms or make spreadsheets. So it just it's really been what was needed to allow a small team to organize a big race. Wow, that's amazing. So in, a, in a one sentence, you take away all the hassle while keeping all the fun in there. Absolutely, that's a good way to say it. That's amazing. So do you have like a standard tracks that are set up? So, you know, if a chapter or somebody signs up as a chapter, uh, can people compete between chapters just setting up a standard tracks? Yeah, every three months we release what's called the UTT, which is the Universal Time Trial Tracks. And you can set one of those up if you have five gates, which will provide you five free gates mm -hmm. as long as you show us that you're making an effort to grow your club. Mm -hmm. You lay these tracks out, measuring them out to make sure that they're standardized, and then mm -hmm. you can submit the times that your pilots can run on those, those tracks mm -hmm. and rank them around the world. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So you can actually rank yourself against the people around the world. Now, so uh, beyond the racing at a local level, are there regional events, national events? Yeah, well, MultiGP is growing in three phases. We started by laying a really strong foundation with the local chapters. Mm -hmm. And our target goal was to do 200 chapters. Now that we're at 400, we've met and exceeded that goal. Mm -hmm. uh, the second step for us was to put on a regional uh, competition that had a championship, mm -hmm. which last weekend, with this banner came from that event, uh -huh. we just ran our championship, and it was amazing. It was one of the best events that, that we've ever experienced. The pilots were so happy. It started with 40 regional qualifiers throughout the U.S. Mm -hmm. that fed into 10 finals, and those 10 final events fed into this one championship. So oh. it was amazing. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so drone racing is a sport. I see you have some Konex Pro side here, which is the HD downlink now. Right. Uh, besides of that, what do you see in the immediate future? <clears throat> next year, next two years, where do you see this sport evolving, going to? Well, right now, the growth of this sport is very similar to drinking out of a fire hydrant. So what's important is that we, we continue to focus on providing safe places and safe ways for people to race drones. Because otherwise, that needed fan base that we're looking for to make this sport have an economy mm -hmm. uh, will operate unsafe and could result in laws and regulations that hurt mm -hmm. racing. This is a very safe thing when done properly. Mm -hmm. So we want to focus on that. Uh, from there, you're going to see some major technology improvements. The battery companies are pushing technology specifically now for racing because we discharge these batteries faster than anybody. Mm -hmm. um, you're also going to see a lot more uh, correlation between what we do in commercial because we're making more efficient motors, mm -hmm. more efficient flight controllers, better flight systems. And so those things have great commercial applications. But the HD is what we're the most excited about. Connex um, recently has provided a system that allows us to fly on full HD, which has never been done before. Prior to that, we were doing analog, which is like your old rabbit ears in tennis. So yeah. that is going to be a gigantic push forward in the sport. That's amazing. Well, Chris, thank you very much for, for your time. Where can people find you? What's the best place to find you? If you find me, if you find a local race, I'll probably be there. Oh. I traveled to over 100 last year alone. Oh, wow. Um, but you can contact me at, at MultiGP. Our website is multigp.com, mm -hmm. and uh, it's free for anybody. Amazing. Thanks a lot for your time and for everything that you do for the sport and the industry. Appreciate it. Thank you.